Hi guys, um, just wanted to show you all this because I was like blown away by it, the first one that I'd seen. I've gone and built uh, an infinity mirror. Now, if you're not sure what an infinity mirror is, if you've been in past maybe, I don't know, like some sort of lifts and things, you'll get like, uh, you know, two mirrors that are opposite each other, you get that kind of it bounces backwards and forwards on itself and it disappears down in infinity and stuff. Well, you can do that with LEDs as well if you put two mirrors inside of each other. Now, I've got, at the moment, it's basically one see-through mirror and one regular mirror. And on the inside of the frame of the regular mirror, you can see that I've got LEDs running all the way along. And these are just self-adhesive LEDs on a strip I got off of eBay. Um, the actual thing itself cost about £30 for 5 metres, and that came with a controller, a remote control, um, you know, the 240 to 12 volt um, step down pack that you can see just on the floor there. And uh, as I say, it's all remote control, and it's the little IR sensor there. And the remote control is, as you can see here, so you can like choose what colours and things like that that you want to have on and stuff. So I've kind of talked about you know, about this for a bit too much now, and I think you're just itching to see the final result. Here we go, switch it on. Now, it kind of gives an optical illusion that this is an awful lot deeper than what you think. And it's all just because it's bouncing back on itself. And this is proof that this isn't just something built into the table. And I'll turn down, and on the underside you can also see that it's definitely not that going, you know, going all the way through. It gives a nice effect, and then once uh, all your lights and things are switched off, you can put them on any kind of pattern and whatever frequency of flash that you'd like and things. But if you do want it just to behave like a normal mirror again, you just switch it off. And there you go, back to normal mirror. I suppose it'd be good for bedrooms and things like that, but I can't really see anything else for it. Enjoy, see you later.